Kieran McGuire here with Boxing Man's Ireland and I'm here with Sean O'Neill. Sean, um, we're here at the JB uh, Promotions show again. Um, uh, you've won today, obviously you've won by a point today. Um, not as conclusive as your last one, but it's still a good test for you um, and probably something that you, you've needed maybe. Yeah, absolutely. Look, you know, it was, uh, it, was a, it was a good test. It was a tough test. You know, she's a very, very tough girl, very strong girl. She didn't come to lose. She came to win. She had two fights, same as me. Um, and I suppose she's trying to probably fast-track her career because, you know, she's a little bit older and stuff, so she's looking to get good, strong wins on the card. And, she, you know, she never gave me a second, so I had to dig deep and uh, very grateful for the, for the fight. But, uh, yeah, look, a win is a win. We take the win, and all we do now is go back to the club and continue to grow, you know, continue to, to improve. How have you found the preparation? Because obviously you coming back, same as your last fight, you have to have a child, you're trying to balance everything, you're trying to also lose weight at the same time and bring your weight down. How has that been? Because you're continuing to bring your weight down. Believe it or not, to lose three or four kilos for this fight was harder than losing 30 kilos. In the last fight, I suppose I had so much to lose, but my body obviously got used to being at 68, 69 kilos. And, uh, so that little bit of push, but yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's hard, you know. Um, would I change being a mother? Absolutely not, you know. But to see where I am now and where I was nine months ago, you know, t- to say I'm even proud of myself, it's an understatement. I never thought I'd see 65 on the scales again. And, and yesterday we did, and it was a huge, huge uh, relief of all the work that we're putting in. And the time that you put away from your child, you go to the gym and you come back, you're tired, but I mean, she doesn't care if you're tired or not, you know. So it is it is not, not the easiest, but it's worth every moment, you know what I mean? It really, really is. And I couldn't be more grateful to be given these opportunities. Um, I love boxing, I love fights, you know, and uh, all I want to do is go in and be, if I can be 1% better every fight, I will. And that's that's the goal here, you know. Um, for you next, like, what, what, what do you want to do next? Um, I, I, if I'm right in saying you're going on your honeymoon in September. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to be honeymoon in September. Obviously, naturally enough, people go on their honeymoon straight after they get married. But you know, he he was overseas, so we put we pushed it back, booked it for a year last September. So uh, we're going in September over to Vegas, and uh, yeah, where we got married in the first place. Um, and just going to go for a week over there. But I'll train up to it with the lads in the club. You know, easing back into it and working on things that you know we could have done and getting the conditioning going. And then when I come back, then I know that I'll put the head down and, and pick a date going forward, and, and hopefully have a busy end of the year and a good start to next year. Ideally, you know, um, I really would love to go the traditional route and go an Irish title or Celtic title, you know, whichever comes. But we just have to wait and see what opportunities pop up and, you know, see, see what, what benefits us and going forward. So you're 65 kilo. Do you want to stay at 65 or are you able to go lower or higher than that? Or? Um, at the moment, I'm not sure. I did feel very good and I felt very strong. Um, I'd like to see how I am in a couple of weeks at this weight um, when I get a little bit more conditioned. Um, and see, I felt really, really good at 67 in the last fight. Uh, I know it's box 69, but I weighed 67 and felt really, really good. But I feel like I could be, I could be a little bit more conditioned, you know, in me myself, um, and see how I am. And then if I feel like, well, we get another little bit down, we, we'll move down. But I'm happy where I am now. I feel very strong, and I think if I grow into it, I'll, I'll be, you know, I'll be dangerous, you know. So. I had an interesting conversation with a girl called Sinead Babington, um, and so she's a pro in Mexico, um, but Irish, obviously. Um, but interesting enough, she's been telling me that she's moving back home now in the next few weeks, um, and possibly she will be eligible then to fight herself if she gets a win. So that could be ideal. Uh, obviously, the stars have to line the, to- the to- dates, the time, and all this kind of stuff, but. Um, I don't know if Robbie's told you about it, but like, uh, that could be one, if not Kate, then someone to make history, uh, yourself and Sinead. Yeah, look, absolutely. Isn't that what it's all about, is to make history? How good would that be for female boxing? You know, uh, If I'm right, it, it hasn't been done, or it's been done in a long time. Uh, but uh, yeah, look, I've heard about the girl, I know she needs, she needs a win, so you know, let her get her win, and if it suits everybody at the time, then uh, you know, let's have it, because that's what, that's what we're here for. You know, I'm not going to jump into a, to a title fight at one, two weeks' notice. That's, you know, that's not what we're here for, you know, yeah, yeah. but definitely, absolutely, we're going to sit down and talk about it after, after my honeymoon. You have to take your family time too, it's important, you know, and then we we see. I'm sure my, my next fight, and then I'm sure we'll have the end of the year planned out. And uh, no doubt about that. That Joe and Rory and Robbie will, will guide me in the right way. Especially Joe, you know, having the boxing, being so busy in boxing himself, and uh, I mean, uh, Irish amateur legend. You know, uh, no doubt about that. He wouldn't be going into these fights if he, if he didn't think I could win them. And they believe in me. They work hard at me in the club, and uh, you know, all I can do is 
continue to give back to them and, and make, it, make it worthwhile. You did give their time away from their family. Uh, when Joe's not training for a fight, he's also trying to train me and, and, and the amateur club as well. And put a lot of time in, uh, and no more than them all, you know. So it's nice to come in and do what you're told and, and, and work harder and leave no stone unturned. So I just, I'm going to keep working hard and, I, and hopefully by the mid of next year, I'm back to myself. I was 66 kilos before I had my, my girl. And if I put the two pictures <laughs> beside each other, my bodies are completely different. You know, so it's still it's still recovering. It's still it's, it's still got a little bit of fat on it there that you wouldn't have had before. And I don't know will that even ever go. It's, you know, but we, we'll we'll find out. You know, so we'll work hard and continue to tone up and uh, get my conditioning right and uh, see what happens moving forward. You know, but I believe in me and in my team and, and you know. Right. Well, Shan, thanks very much for your time. Um, you wouldn't believe you only three, you know, because you actually speak really well. So um, fair play to you, because um, it doesn't come naturally to a lot of other people. Like um, so, yeah, no, appreciate your time and uh, look forward to seeing you next fight. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much. Hopefully, we're we're back in Ireland as well. It's great to fight at home. It really, really is. You know, uh, like I'm, what what time is it now? It's at half seven. I'm going to be home at nine o'clock. <laughs> yeah, how good is that? Like you know, how good is that? It's unbelievable. You couldn't ask for more. You know, well, for an Irish title, you'd rather be at ten o'clock at night being the last one, wouldn't you? Oh, absolutely. Oh, you, you don't mind that now, but uh, at the minute now, we'd be happy to get home and, and, and get pizza and get into bed. <laughs> right. Thanks very much, Sean. Thanks. Cheers, Sean. Thanks.